right, I gotta get that thing unhooked. So that's the fun part. <laughs> I did bring those deer antlers because I don't know if Grandpa's at his cabin or not, but if he is, I want to swing by, say hi, and uh, hand off those antlers to him. I'm going to just go out here a little ways and then we'll get the uh, main engine started, hopefully. it over here and had a, uh, a jump kind of on the far side there. Try to get over there again. Spinner bait. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna fish off here to the to the non-windy side. <laughs> okay. And that is how you lose a eight dollar spinner bait. Wow. Just locked the uh, metal thing clicked down on me right as I was swinging. <laughs> That's too bad. That was a good one too. Lost my leader and everything. <laughs> oh geez, all right. Oh, I gotta reset here and I'll be back in a second. So I set up my bait caster with a spinner and my open face with a daredevil. Daredevils are hard in this lake because it does have a lot of weeds, but those northerns go nuts for the shininess of them, so. We'll see. I'd like to get bass or northern or something today. I don't have any worms or anything, but uh, maybe I can try something else to get on some panfish if we have to. But I'm going to start with the spinner bait here. Or sorry, I'm going to start with this daredevil and then we'll um, move on. Or a spoon, whatever you might want to call it. Well, I tried the door. It's locked. The lights are off. So he must not be home. Now 
Never noticed his birdhouse. That's cute. <laughs> Wonder if he made that. Got three more right here. I know he made that one. I remember those. I do plan on doing a few overnights in the next coming weeks. Doing some fishing and stuff, so we'll see grandpa. It is. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. A little northern. You can see that little northern there. Awesome. That's a good one. Beautiful fish. All right. some tinkering on that boat motor and uh, get that a little more squared away but I had a fun time and it was a good trial run so okay we got the new prop put on there and so I want to go and give this a try at a lake to see so we're gonna run there quick just to see if that's what the issue is right here we are boat landing I'm gonna throw this in real fast and get out of the way I didn't realize that this was such a beautiful lake and it's a nice calm day so you should be able to see if it runs good.
say that that ran pretty good. Uh, the Garmin Striker 4, that fish finder, uh, the GPS on it said that we were going 17 and a half miles per hour, which for such a small boat, it feels pretty fast. <laughs> Uh, especially being the wind can push you around so easily. Uh, I like to just probably get it up on plane and then I kind of backed it off and I think that's a little bit better for cruising. Uh, it still feels boggy to me and I believe that it's probably something to do with a partially clogged jet in the carburetor so we'll dig into that now that I know that uh, all it was was the uh, hub and that prop was uh, I guess too dried out and it started to spin but it's plenty fast for me that's for sure and I'm happy with the way it performed so now that I know that we can kind of continue on with it and go to the next step.